Hello Pisces, welcome to your horoscope for July 2023. So we have on the 11th of the month, we've got Mars, which is going to be going into your 7th house. This is the house of relationships, it's a marriage house. With that, you might find some of a strength if you're getting along with your partner more, find someone new, be more motivated to go on dates perhaps, or go and be more social. But also can be um, arguments as well with people as well. And then we've got um, on the 12th, we've got Mercury going into the 6th house. It's the house of health. So you might be thinking about your health more, going on a health kick, going on a retreat, um, changing diet. On the 22nd, you've got Venus retrograde in this place, in this area as well. It's going to indicate that things are not going as smoothly as you'd like. It might be... Um, might be not as uh, heading in the direction you want to go into in terms of your health in that area um, but also Venus retrograde can bring people back from the past to past relationships and then on the 29th you got Mercury which will be going into your seventh house so this is the house um, of relationships from me being up in Mars that's going to um, smooth things over with relationships that you got um, happening there or thinking about you know where you go where you're going or who you want to go with or who your partner should be and thinking about the area as well when we look at the cards here Piscearians, it's like a lot of unity here like you're working together with people and i feel like this is about your work you're like together as a team like a team environment you're but you're being so over at the same time you're being overworked and there's a lot to be done but you it's like a team player you're having to work as a team you're really like trying to be patient. You're really trying to hold things together. Um, but your patience, I feel like times is going to be wearing thin. But I do feel like that it is going to work out in the end here. And what project or what you're working on is going to be quite good. I also feel like that um, you need to like work on your core this month. But something about the core I'm getting. Working on that core there. Um, it could be a change of doctor that's coming up here for you too and you're just feeling maybe a lot of lack of energy as well that's some sort of change here um and i feel like though with this work situation with the, the you need a lot of patience but you're also getting a lot of um insight you're also being quite intuitive about this you're getting a lot of downloads and you sort of just feel that the habit is knowing that whatever you're working on it's going to be okay and it is going to be working out just fine for you you're also um looking at i feel like you're coming out like you're evolving a like spiritual awakening um this month you're also looking at being more confident in what you're studying um it's like you're doing a lot of research you're doing a lot of um like you're practicing and you're studying for like a course but it's a big change and you're coming out um being more confident in whatever you're studying as well but also going through a big transformation to a spiritual transformation too i also feel like there could be some sort of retreat that's coming up here for you as as well um i feel like when it comes to family you're really just wanting some peace i feel like there is some sort of celebration around family that's coming up but you're sort of waiting patiently again so again a lot of patience is coming up here too but when it comes to sibling you're having like siblings you're having to be there to comfort them and sort of help them and guide them through this um this month because they're they're feeling a bit down downtrodden you're having to help them out i also feel like that my uh, having to get like a friend that's getting a new job or you might be getting a job to work, work with you um there's also could be a chance of finding love with friends this month I feel like that there's a friend around you who's very daydreaming who wants a lot of things and you're having to also help them. It's like you've got a lot of hands. You're having to help a lot of people out this month. You're also having to like, um, I want to say be careful of your own energy because you need to not, you're going over and beyond, but you need to hold back a little bit because you're going to be feeling quite deflated. That's coming up too um, in the cards for the month. And you don't want to do anything reckless. You are wanting financial freedom, like you're really wanting financial freedom. I feel like this is to do with a job. You're really um, trying to save in every penny that you've got here because I feel like there's also you want to save for a holiday or some big trip, some vacation that you want to go on to. So you're really trying to save that up. I feel like this is a good month for love, like passions and nighting here. Um, I feel like that you're being very kind very compassionate you're wanting someone to also be the same back to you you're also looking at 
perhaps even like starting a family or like babies news coming up here too but I feel like if you feel like you're finding the right person to be with you're you're on this track of mission of finding someone who understands you and you're wanting really wanting someone who's going to be on your side who's also very very loyal but also won't um won't tip the boat up and will also I feel like you're wanting someone that's going to agree with you a lot as well um there is a bit of clashing here, but I get a lot of good things for relationships and for people wanting to start a new relationship. But that's before the 22nd of July because of the retrograde. It's going to be more about people from the past. Um, but I feel like meditation, you're seeing a lot of things more. There's some sort of upgrade you're going through, spiritual upgrade that I feel to Pisces that's happening as well. Um, but I also feel like there's an aspect of financial freedom that's also coming up too. And I feel like that... Um, of the other things this month be thankful for, there is something that's going on here with work that you won't be able to see clearly or see everything, and it will probably be clear until I feel like maybe to the end of the month or going into even August or September as well. But it's like you you really know what you're doing, and people you are sort of guiding people, you are being the leader, you are being the manager here, um, and you're being very determined to get this um, output or whatever you're trying to work on to get it done too. Um, Pisces, that's what I was going to get for you, Pisces. Pisces, this is a month where you're going to feel like it's a whirlwind, where you're going to feel like you're on cloud nine. You're finally being given the opportunity to lead the group and to lead people in an area which you have been wanting to do for a long time. You're going to get there, but with great sacrifice. For you're sacrificing your time and your energy, you're going to feel like you're putting everything into one box. But this is going to be something that you've been congratulated for back in, in or happening in September. You're going to worry a lot and see whether or not you can do it, but you can do it. For this whole month, you are going through some sort of transformation. We're going to feel more confident within yourself by the end of the month. You're going through a transition period where you're going to transition into a meek, mild person into someone that can stand up to even a Leo. Thank goodness uh, for blessings that you have around you, Pisces. You are all in control of your destiny and you're all going on a very spiritual path with a lot of awakening, a lot of lessons to learn as well, P Pisces. So thank you for your likes, your shares and your comments and I will see you for my next video. So bye for now.